Hello everyone. Here we are on the 14th Sunday of Ordinary Time and July 4th, our nation's birthday. Today in the Gospel, Jesus is um, not rejected, but he's challenged by the people of his hometown to prove that he is a messenger of God, let's say. They say, do the miracles here that you did in other towns, then we'll believe in you. And even Jesus' family members, his cousins, says his brothers and sisters. Uh, we know from other places in the gospel that these were the sons of uh, another Mary, a relative of his mother. But they too uh, find it difficult. And the people say, he's just one of us. And for us, it takes a lot of hard thinking to picture Jesus living for 30 years in Nazareth as just an ordinary person, not the Jesus we think of. So what does it say to us? I think this, that anyone who preaches Jesus, the full message of Jesus, that he came for every human being, that he is truly God and truly one of us, that he was fully human and took upon himself the whole penalty of human sin and at the same time that he calls us to be for the world we live in those who feed the hungry and give drink to the thirsty shelter the homeless anyone who is challenged with the full message of Jesus will tend to say that's a bit too much and the preacher who preaches Jesus and the messenger of Jesus will find opposition in his own backyard I don't mean ill-intended opposition. I mean simply people who find it too much. The truth is that after Jesus' resurrection, members of his family became strong supporters of the church. Uh, James, one of the Jameses mentioned today, his cousin became head of the church in Jerusalem. So the message came through. But when they demanded miracles, Jesus, it says, and this is the most shocking thing, he couldn't do much because of their lack of faith. Faith in Jesus means not only I believe him to be who faith tells us he is, but that I trust him to act on my behalf when I ask him. But then the question is, I don't get what I ask for, what happened? And then we have to listen to this question. Is it a greater miracle when God does what human beings want or when human beings do what God wants? You answer the question. It's the second. The second is that human hearts convert to follow Jesus. So we who are the messengers of God, the clergy, the priests, but also any one of us who chooses to be a true, full disciple and lives according to Jesus and is ready with words to explain, uh, we will find opposition. Not necessarily evil opposition, but people who can't yet see it. And yet, if we are faithful, they will. Well, it's good to be with you on this 4th of July, the peak of the summer. I wish you a, a blessed week and uh, I look forward to seeing you next Sunday.